Clad quants doesn't test how much you know, it tests how well you can think with numbers. And the good news, almost every year, the questions come from the five most predictable topics. If you master these, 10 out of 10 in QT is absolutely possible. Hi guys, this is Raghav from NLTI and today we are going to talk about how you can master your quant section and score full marks in it. Knowing the real pattern. QT section mostly makes up 10 to 14 questions in the CLAT exam with short data sets along with the sub questions. The important thing to note here is they are easy to moderate sets with basic calculations. No trigonometry, no algebra, no calculus, just basic calculations. It's logic, ratios and interpretation under pressure that's all. After analyzing the five PYQs of CLAT exam, we've got to know that five areas repeat almost every year. Number one, ratio proportion, percentages and profit loss. Number two, data interpretation with tables, graph and chart questions. Number three, time, speed and work. Number four, averages and mixture and allegation. Number five, basic algebra, basic statistics with some simple mensuration. Together they make up 80% of the section. Let's talk about ratio proportion, percentages and profit and loss. These appear very directly inside the DI sets. What you've got to do here is be fluent with percentage changes and quick conversions. So for example, if the cost price of article A is 20% higher than part B, what you've got to note here is the fraction here is 6 by 5. That is 1 plus 20% is equal to 6 by 5. What you've got to do here is you've got to learn the basic fractions. So for example, 50% is 1 by 2, 60% is 3 by 5, 70% 7 by 10, 16.67% is 1 by 6, 33.33% is 1 by 3 and so on. You've got to know these basic conversions, they'll save up a lot of time in your exam. Practice mixed context questions like discount chain or company revenue rise. Topic 2, data interpretation. The most common question type, what you've got to learn here is focus on reading the data fast and focus on grasping titles, units, etc. Approximate smartly, CLAT values reasoning, not your decimals. Try working on one DI set a day and try to do it under seven minutes. Topic three, time, speed and work. There are always two to three short questions in your exam and they are easy to moderate level questions. Know the basic formulas distance is equal to speed into time speed is equal to distance upon time work is equal to rate into time these are the basic formulas around which the questions are centered clad frames them as small logical puzzles not equations target solving each and every type of these questions under two to three minutes topic four averages and mixture and allegation so this is a very small but high yield area understand the story how overall average is affected when extremes mix. Use the allegation ratio visually instead of heavy calculations. What you've got to note here is these are very basic one mark speed questions and you will very easily ace them if you just know the basic concepts. Topic 5 Basic Algebra statistics and a bit of mensuration. What you've got to know here is just the basic fundamentals such as how a simple equation works, what is a simple equation which is ax plus b is equal to zero, area perimeter of circle, square, rectangle, mean, median, mode, basics. These are the most important areas. Revise the section weekly and try to do the DI sets in under eight to nine minutes. So what should be your daily 25 minutes QT routine? Spend 10 minutes on one DI set Spend 10 minutes on three topic questions and spend five minutes on noting your errors and timing of each question. Do this five days a week and remember, consistency matters a lot more than extra material. So to conclude, CLAT QT is predictable, limited and fully conquerable. Master these five topics, practice under a timer and revise weekly. 
That's how toppers turn QT into guaranteed marks.